We're disappointed that the union has been emphasizing a strike to this degree. That the union has been emphasizing a strike. We're hopeful that we won't in fact even have to go on strike at all. I'm not thrilled, and I don't know of any nurse that's thrilled to have to go out on strike, even if it's for one day. Does anybody want to strike? No. But we need to send that message that this is how important it is to us and how important it is for our patients to know that we care for them. There is no research that says that staffing is the answer to having the best patient quality care. First, look at the and research. Twin cities, the research has proven that okay. nurse staffing is directly correlated you know so to improve patient outcomes. The let's staffing uh, yeah. studies out of California directly are associated with improved patient outcomes. You know, decreased but let's, falls, decreased infections, let's decreased. Let's look at what the reality is in terms of the Joint the Commission. We're looking at the research. We're going to look. Not no, we're going to look at the, the Joint Commission. Because she worries hospitals are cutting corners when it comes to staffing. You're dealing with one individual that's somewhat crashing. Um, you know, to balance that and be able to take care of the other one and to be able to handle all that, I mean, that's stressful. I mean, not only for us, but the families. Clearly, what we see today is that the union is interested only in a strike. Um, it's demonstrated that it does not want to negotiate in good faith. MA nurses had offered to meet every day until the strike date. The employers only agreed, though, to meet on just the two days next week. Hospitals certainly think that a settlement is reachable first and that um, the issue about um, patient safety is just one of um, many issues that we can come to agreement on. number of patients that a nurse may care for um, is not predictable from uh, one part of the day to another part of the day. And that's why even we need flexibility. The, that's why we need flexibility. Well, <laughs> you may need flexibility, but the nurses need to be able to protect their patients. They need to be able to advocate for them. And the only way that they can do that is to have a reasonable patient assignment. And the union leadership says, well, we're going to send a message to the hospitals. What message does it send to us? What's this about? We don't care about the money. We care about our ability to deliver safe patient care. This is about patients. This isn't about anything else but the reason why we went into nursing in the first place.